So, you're interested in gaining some extra income. You may be learning a new technical skill or have a couple under your belt, but you're not sure where to start because freelancing as a developer feels so far down the line in your journey that it doesn't feel attainable right now. Well, in this video, I'm going to try to debunk some of the myths and misconceptions you might have around starting freelancing as a developer, even if you are still learning. I think the time is now, the industry is booming. I say, take that leap and just go for it. So I first wanna start off by saying I completely understand those feelings of frustration or overwhelm that you might feel when you're considering going into freelancing. I know it can be super intimidating because when you are looking at platforms like Upwork or Fiverr, you see people who might have been doing freelancing for years and years and have more advanced skill sets than you. And it can feel super intimidating when you are first getting started to just take that leap. But I do encourage you to get started now and take that leap, regardless of how confident you feel in your skills. Because if there is one thing I learned in my journey so far, is that there's always someone that is in the market for the exact skill set that you have. So I got started early in the year 2020. And when I was first getting started, the skills that I was most confident in were HTML and CSS, okay? That was pretty much it in terms of programming. I was learning JavaScript. I had learned a little bit of Swift, but I didn't know enough to put anything together with those skills. So I had to stick with HTML and CSS. And I wanna say right here, that is completely okay. If you know HTML and CSS, you can 100% start getting into freelancing and make some side income right now. I think that getting into freelancing was a big part of my learning journey. It helped me to understand what skills were in demand based on what customers would ask for or what types of projects they wanted me to complete. It also forced me to learn more quickly because sometimes I had to learn new things in order to complete the projects that I had to finish. Um, so I didn't try to do too much and take on projects that I wasn't ready for, but within the scope of HTML and CSS, there were sometimes things that I didn't know how to do within CSS that I had to learn and figure out. And I'm super grateful for that experience because it really pushed me in my learning journey. And it is actually what inspired me to start learning full stack development because I realized that there were a lot of people who needed more help than what I was able to do at the time. And I wanted to be able to do more. So I definitely think if you're looking for, you know, that drive, that passion, and to start finding that spark in your journey on learning how to code, I would definitely suggest getting into freelancing. And 100% you can and should start with just offering services within HTML and CSS. So I'm going to go through a few services that you can offer using HTML and CSS because I truly believe that if you are interested in going into freelancing, there's no need to wait until you have super advanced programming skills, you can start today. And there's absolutely no shame in only knowing HTML and CSS. They are both extremely powerful tools. And at one point in time, they were all that existed for creating websites. Um, and you can still create really, really beautiful, responsive websites and other digital media using HTML and CSS. And those are skills that people will pay for. So. Let's get right into that. Okay, so one service that you can offer is creating custom email templates. I think that 
It's no secret, no surprise that email marketing is huge right now and it's only going to continue to get bigger. There are tons of businesses and brands and solopreneurs that are going to need beautifully designed custom email templates and you could create those using HTML and CSS. Um, I know that there are services out there like MailChimp and Flowdesk and things like that that help people do that, but if someone needs a ultra customized email template, often you just have to create those and it's very simple and easy to do using HTML and styling within that. So you could also become a webmaster or a website manager. So there are lots of businesses out there that need someone to take care of the day-to-day -day updates that need to go on certain websites. You might have to go in and add things in this HTML or add quick customizations on the CSS and a webmaster or website manager is able to do that. You could also go down the path of becoming a WordPress or Squarespace developer. And this is the path that I chose. If you have a platform uh, like Squarespace or WordPress or any of those builder websites, you can definitely get a lot of gigs building websites for people on there. And you can use your skills in HTML and CSS to create customizations to those builder websites that you wouldn't be able to with the default settings that they might have on them. You will be able to bring a ton of extra income going down this path. And I also think it's really helpful as a developer to understand services like WordPress, because it's likely that if you go down the freelancing path that you're going to be using them anyway. And finally, using HTML and CSS, you can increase your marketability in tons of digital fields. I also paired my HTML and CSS development with some skills I had in digital marketing that I acquired before I got into tech. And it really helped me to land lots of clients, uh, particularly people who were solo entrepreneurs who needed multiple services in that digital realm. And I was able to help them with their digital marketing, with their content creation and social media management, and help them manage their website as well and create customizations, making sure that their brand was well represented across the board. And that was a big hit for the people that I was working with. So definitely don't count yourself out and don't think that only knowing HTML and CSS is a limit to you. It's actually a great benefit. So I did want to mention that with all of these, you may have to learn a couple of new skills or learn as you go with a few things and don't feel like that should hinder you. Programming, learning how to program is all about being able to learn as you go. And I think freelancing is very similar in that same way. You're always going to have to learn how to update your skills and learn new things to be able to provide the best services that you can. Being able to use your HTML, CSS, and any of the other digital skills that you have in tandem to provide services as a freelancer make a little extra money while you continue to learn. I think that is a win-win for everybody. So I definitely encourage you to get started. Don't wait to jump in. If you have any questions, definitely hop down in the comments below and ask them, or you can DM me on Instagram and I would be happy to answer any questions that you have on freelancing or using HTML and CSS to provide freelancing services. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any other videos like this. And you can keep up with me and my journey into coding, bootcamp, entrepreneurship, all of the things. All right, until next time, I love you, I'm rooting for you, and I can't wait to see you.